needs an introduction when you've got America's aunt sitting right here? Gloria Evan Kindred, my Aunt Gloria, otherwise known as America's Aunt. Welcome to the Saturday Show live and in studio, in person. Thank you, Jonathan. This is really seems so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's you know what's crazy was the election results on yes. Tuesday. What just your 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 thoughts? How are you feeling? I was devastated. I really thought she had a chance to win. And I still can't understand how she lost. Uh, and all I can think, I went to one of her rallies. People were so hopeful. And all types of people were there. Young, old, all different nationalities. And they, want, they had hope. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm living in two Americas. Those who don't care and those who have hope. Mm -hmm. And I really am concerned that what's going to happen in the next four years. It's like, the election was a joke. He's making jokes and everything and, and harassing people. And I don't understand. Are we just not ready for a woman to be president? Uh, I think there's a lot going on. And I think, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Uh, uh, Uncle Roy, what do you make of, uh, of the people who are blaming President Biden for, for this loss. I mean, you became aunt, known as Aunt Gloria at America's uh, Aunt because of what you told me at the mm -hmm. family barbecue right. back in 2015 when you said, or not 2015, in, um, in 2019, yeah. when you said it's going to take an old white dude to beat an old white dude. You need President Biden, you need Joe Biden to run against Donald Trump. So how do you feel about people blaming your man? Uh, I was hoping he would stay in the race, then turn it over to her. And maybe it did need an old white man to go against an old white man. Because I thought she was a great candidate. But I was hoping he would stay in the race long enough and then just turn it over. Yeah, long enough, run, win, yeah. and then turn it over to yes. her. Yes. Turn it over yes. to her. Yes. If that's what it takes, do it. Well, what do you mean? There's another thing, another little chatter out there. There are some people who think that President Biden should step down, now that the election is over, uh -huh. step down now which would then make Vice President Harris President Harris until January 20th. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? That would be great. I wish it would happen, but I think there's too much going on in the world. Uh, it was Israel and everything, the Palestinians. But I think she would do great. I think you could see her if she could, he would step down and allow her to be president for these last few months. Do, do you have... What, do you have any words of encouragement for, for us, for the American people, as we're about to go through another four years of, of Donald Trump? Don't give up hope. It is not over yet. And I think what you're going to have to focus on, what can you do for yourself? Because I don't expect the government to do a whole lot if he's in charge. And I tell people to stay calm. There are a lot of racist groups out there. And that's the biggest concern. And, you know, he may take, bring the military out, but I have hope the military will say no, because you just can't shoot down people. And I think if people just stay hopeful, you know, there's going to happen some things they don't like, but stay hopeful. America's not done yet. And people like Kamala showed us how life could be. And it's people who you respect. That's how you should act. And why they voted for this guy, it's got to be, I'm not sure what they want, but I think there's a lot of people who just don't care. You know, they care for themselves, but not for the country. Gloria Avent Kindred, my Aunt Gloria, America's Aunt, thank you very much for coming back to the show and coming to Washington to, be, to sit right here on set. It's great to see you.